Hey guys, welcome to another lunchtime review. Today I'm going to try this Campbell's Chunky Chili with Beans, 24 grams of protein. That's pretty cool. Um, it's very tiny, but I don't even know if you can see that. I don't even know if I can see that. 15.25 um, ounces or 432 grams. I think that's what it says. I don't know. It's too small for me to read. Uh, we bought these at Walmart. It was $1.80. And um, it comes with this, it's a microwavable bowl. So it's pretty cool. 430 calories to eat the whole thing. And I'll tell you I have a better picture of this at the end, but there, there it is if you want it. Um, so microwave directions, this is, this is what you use for the microwave. Do not add water. So that's good to know. So microwave, we're going to remove the plastic cap, carefully remove and discard the metal lid, then replace the plastic cap. So take this off, pull the tabs and then put it back on. Microwave on high for one and a half minutes. It doesn't say to vary, but it says, uh, cook times may vary sometimes, usually somewhere. Yeah. Um, no, actually it doesn't. So anyway, uh, one and a half minutes. Um, leave a microwave for one minute after that for one more cup or one more soup. Heat another 30 seconds. I don't think I need that for one and a half minutes. Um, place plastic cap on hot. Um, oh, plastic cap may be, wow, I cannot see. Plastic cap may be hot. I'm sure it will. Grip ball on the sides and remove from the microwave. Just be careful. Basically, it's going to be hot. So, um, let me get a paper towel so I can throw this lid on it. I usually uh, put this in the microwave. I stick it in e on either a paper plate or stick it in one of those little paper bowls just in case anything splatters out of it or it falls over because they usually, uh, it usually uh, pops and bounces in there sometimes. It depends on how the the um, bubbles up inside there. So it looks pretty good actually. And it's very uh, full of stuff. So I put this lid back on it. Like I said, ew, my hands are dirty. Um, I'm going to put this on a, probably a paper, I'll probably put it on a bowl actually just in case it falls over. But anyway, I'll get be right back when it comes out. All right, so this is what I meant by a paper bowl. It's just a, just a, literally a paper bowl. So there's what it looks like. Um, it thinned out quite a bit, so you want to stir it really good. Wow, that's got a, quite a bit of beans and uh, ground. It looks like hamburger in there. Um, it's pretty good. I'm not going to pour it in the bowl. The bowl was literally just in case it fell over. No pop. It didn't pop or anything. It did make that, um, those awful noises it makes. You know, it sounds like boom, boom as it's heating up. Um, I've had them pop straight up in the air and flip over sideways. That's why I put them in a bowl nowadays. So um, I'll be back once it's cooled off a little bit. Okay, I gave it a minute just to cool off a little bit. I'm um, not a long time because it's not super, super hot, but it is hot. So here we go. I think this is full of, um, I know it has red kidney beans. And ground beef and onions and stuff like that, but I think it might have pinto beans in there too, but I can't tell. So, it could just be the kidney beans that have, the the skin has been like cooked off of them. I think that's what the case is. So these are all these are all um, like kidney beans. Um, I like the flavor of that. The beans are cooked really well. They're really um. They're a soft um, texture, so that's good. They're not hard. I've had um, beans in, in foods before that were um, kind of hard, like those black beans in Mexican meals, a lot of those are kind of hard beans. Um, these are good and soft. The flavors of the, um, we have to speak with texture. The beans are a good texture. The ground beef has got chunks in there, so it's not a really finely ground um, ground beef like uh, Skyline Chili or something like that. It's, it's a bigger chunks, which I like. I would much rather have it in a, bigger pieces than this really finely ground, almost sand-like ground beef. I just don't like it. Flavor-wise, it is good. It has a good chili flavor. It doesn't have a lot of, um, doesn't have what I would call spice in it, like heat in it. Um, but if you don't like heat, that would be a good thing, right? It's the, uh, you get the chili powder kind of flavor. But, um, but you don't get any of the really the spice from it. So you get the flavor, but no spice, which like I said, a lot of people will enjoy that. Um, if you like a little spicier chili, you will want to add something to this. Maybe uh, need a little bit of hot sauce or, or something like that. It's good. Just know the chili powder flavor even, even still is um, not that strong of a flavor. But I like it. I like the flavors of it. I like the textures of it. Um, I normally eat my own chili. You may know what I'm going to say. If you've watched me any time at all. Ritz cracker. You have to have Ritz crackers for everything. 
So I usually just take a Ritz cracker one at a time, break it up, put it on top so it doesn't get soggy, and eat it that way. Even better with the Ritz. The Ritz just adds a, um, a little bit of uh, that crunch texture to it. It really doesn't add any flavor to it. Well, I got a little bit of flavor from the Ritz, but it's mostly just the texture. I think this is a good chili. The one good thing about it is they've left it, um, spice-wise, they've left it generic enough to where if you don't like a lot of spice, you'll be fine. If you want a little bit more spice, you're gonna have to add a hot sauce to it, but you can spice it up. You can always go up in spice, you can't go backwards in spice. So um, if you do want a little spice here, get you some Tabasco or some, I like Frank's red hot sauce in, in my stuff. Um, just put you some of that in there, it'll spice it up and give you a little more heat. If you like it hotter, get whatever your favorite hot sauce is. So I think this is really good. It's not like gourmet, it's not the best chili ever, um, but it is really good for a, for a microwavable um, can of chili. I think it's pretty good. So I'm gonna give it a four out of five. I do recommend it if you like chili, you want something different, take, get you some Ritz crackers, um, take with you to work and heat it up, I think you'll be fine. So I hope you enjoy this video. Thanks for watching.